Hello, good morning to all the students. Hello. Okay, anybody here? <coughs> Hopefully, you can listen me. Eh? Okay, hello. Okay, I want the student give me the feedback. Good morning, everybody. Okay, we got how many watching now? Eh? We got seven students only. Okay, Sharon, good morning. Okay, Yiru, good morning. Okay, can see me and also can listen me or not? Okay, good morning, Sabrina. Okay, good morning. Okay, it's the same question. Eh? Can listen me? So if you can listen to me, then I want to continue today the lesson. Okay, thank you, Yiru. Okay, today the lesson, I just continue the atmospheric pressure. Um, some of the behind there, they go effect, effect of the atmospheric pressure. Okay, after that, I want to discuss about the question. The question I uh, call you to do uh, for the last lesson. Okay, and also the formative. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Okay, so today I want to continue lah. So let's see um, what is this topic talking about. Okay, there's still atmospheric pressure. Okay, then we go to the next one. Oh, hang a little bit. Okay, I'm going to change first. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, this one is talking about the atmospheric pressure at the high altitude. Okay, we see what happened if they're at the high altitude. Okay, you can see through the diagram here. Okay, the diagram here, they show about the uh, one of the person at the top of the mountain, is it? So from here, they say, look at how the field of terms that's a pressing down on the guy at the top of the mountain. So this one is a total of the amount of the atmospheric pressure that acting to the guy. I think last slide is it, you see the amount of the... Uh, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure, the molecule, molecule becomes smaller, is it? Then after that, they acting also less. But you see at the base of the mountain, okay? Look at the atom pressing down. Okay, we got so many atoms pressing down on the guy. So that means atmospheric pressure at the top mountain should be lower, okay? Compared to the uh, bottom of the mountain, okay? So this one, we are talking about the high altitude, what happened for the atmospheric pressure. Okay, let's see the explanation. Okay, the higher altitude, the density and also temperature of the air will be lower. Okay, sure the temperature become lower. Lah. Okay, number two. Okay, as a result, the frequency of the collision. So that means when you go to cool, okay, you go to the up of the mountain, the temperature become low already. So temperature become low means the collision between the molecule become less. Okay, they're not frequent go to collide to each other. If not collide to each other, means the pressure will drop. So from here, they say atmospheric pressure become lower. Okay, this one is why at the top mountain, the atmospheric pressure will become lower. So we must talking about the frequency of the collision. Okay, become less. Why? Because of low temperature. Okay, then we continue to this part. Okay, we want to see about the effect of the atmospheric pressure at the high altitude. Okay, just now we say they become low pressure already, is it? Now we need to know what's the effect. Okay, another effect is atmospheric pressure at the deep sea. Okay, the extreme deep under the surface of the sea. Okay, we see what happened. What's the effect for this all pressure? Okay, first we go to the atmospheric at the high altitude first. Okay, let's see the effect. Okay, first one, they will increase your rate of breathing. Okay, you will breathe very fast. Okay, then after that, the low absorption of the oxygen. Okay, the oxygen become low, less already. So that's why you need to breathe very fast. Okay, to improve the oxygen in your lungs. Okay, number three, they will increase the metabolic rate. Okay, when you just breathing increase, the metabolic will be increasing. Okay, after that, number four, you find it, you lost the appetite. Okay, number five, there's a dehydration. That means the water, there's a not enough in your body. And the last one is inability to think clear. 
that means you find it, your brain cannot turn very fast. Okay, cannot immediately give the answer correctly. So that means you got a little bit blur lah. Okay, for the effect from the atmospheric pressure at the high altitude. So from here, how to um how to attempt? Okay, attemptation you need to do and also action to be taken when you want to climb the mountain. So from here, they explain for you. For the mountain climber, first one you need to prepare and also need to train uh, before you start to do this one, uh, the, the, pro, the program. You want to go to uh, Mount Kinabaru. So from here, you need to prepare and also need to do some training before climbing. Okay, you need to prepare some equipment such as a smartwatch that can be measured the altitude, your blood pressure and also the body temperature. Okay, climb at the slow rate. Don't be too fast. You need to slow and also need to rest. Okay, to allow the body to adjust the changes in the pressure. When you keep higher and higher, atmospheric pressure become decreases. So your body needs to suitable. Okay, make your body become suitable for surrounding condition. So you need to take some time. So from here, the last one, prevent the dehydration. You need to drink the water even when not thirsty. Okay, you need to drink. Okay, make sure your body maintain the water level. Okay, so this one is for the mountain climber. Okay, number two, we still got another one. That should be the aircraft. Okay, when the aircraft at the high altitude, we see what is the uh, thing you need to prepare. Okay, first one, they will increase the pressure in the aircraft cabin to match the sea level pressure. After that, recycle the air in the cabin so that it's fresh, okay? And also contain the adequate oxygen level. Okay, make sure the oxygen level is be enough. And the last one is remind the passenger to drink the enough of the water to prevent the dehydration during the long distance flight. So this one is in the aircraft. What adaptation you need to do, okay? Then after that, we must go to the deep sea. What's the effect first? Okay, effect for the extreme depth, okay, under the surface of the sea. Okay, we see what's the effect. Okay, the body tissue that will absorb, okay, excess nitrogen gas. So, this one nitrogen gas that will dissolve into our blood. Okay, inability to think clear, also same. Okay, they will cause you cannot think, uh, think very um, perfectly. Maybe the pressure too high already because you got water pressure, you also got the uh, atmospheric pressure. So formation of the nitrogen bubbles in the tissues or blood vessel if the pressure is reduced too rapidly. Okay, your pressure reduced too rapidly. So after that, they will affect affected the blood in the vessel. So this one is an effect for the um, under deep sea, lah, the pressure reacting to your body. Okay, what adaptation you need to do? Okay, adaptation. First one, they say do the physical exercise. Okay, to enable the body to adapt to a high-pressure environment before diving. Okay, after that, you need to wear the diving suit to slow down the heat loss from the body because very cool already. Okay, you need to wear the diving suit. Okay, after that, you need to slowly ascend to the sea level so that the nitrogen bubble do not form in the tissue and also the blood vessel. Don't straightforward go to deep sea. You must slowly level, slowly level until you go to the bottom. So this one is a technique lah. The diving, the diver normally they know the technique how to control, how to control this all pressure acting to the body. Okay, then another one we're talking about the submarine. Okay, submarine also go to the deep sea, is it? So we need to see the adaptation and also the action they need to take. In. Okay, first one they say the submarine is made with the steel. Sure lah, the body must be very strong. Okay, titanium with the circular cross section to withstand the air pressure. You go to deep sea, sure the pressure is too high. So this one submarine must be made by the, the material must be very strong. They want to withstand the high pressure. Okay, number two, the oxygen tank. Okay, they must inside the oxygen tank or they say electrotic oxygen generator. You still can generate the oxygen. They are provided in uh, that the oxygen they supply in the adequate map. Sure, the oxygen in the submarine there's a supply enough. Okay, for all the clue, lah. then we're going to see the last one. Pressure in the cabin of the submarine is controlled 
to almost the same level as the sea level for the comfort of the crew. So that means when they just go down deeper and deeper, they need to control the pressure of the submarine. Make sure there's the same pressure as the sea level. So that means inside uh, the crew, inside the submarine, they will mean, um, feel more comfortable. They do not suddenly change the pressure, feel very hard. Okay, so this one is a adaptation we need to do when go to the deep sea. Another one is the adaptation you need to do when go to the high uh, attitude. Okay, so after finish this, uh, explain about the effect for the atmospheric pressure in the deep sea and also high attitude. Now I need to uh, discuss about the question. So the student, please prepare calculator. Okay, hopefully you have finished the exercise. So today I give the answer so that means you can check it. Okay, let's see the first question. Okay, this paper, eh, I call you to download one, then you need to solve it. So today I want to give the answer. Okay, let's see the first one. This one is a mercury barometer. Okay, they show you the diagram like this. Okay, this one is uh, from the top until the surface of the mercury. That's a 900 millimeter. Okay, after that at the top, there's a part of the vacuum. That one is a 150 millimeter. If the question never mentioned inside got what, so we just assume inside is a vacuum. Okay, let's see the A. A is a, as a surface of the mercury. So I can say the A actually is an atmospheric pressure. Okay, B is what pressure? B is a mercury pressure. But A and B is the same level. So same level should be same pressure. Okay, so now please answer me the question A. What is space X? Okay, what is X? So you just type there. Okay, I wait your answer. Okay, anybody can answer A. Okay, for the student, you can straightforward to answer A, B, C. But you label uh, the A, the B, and also C. Because we can go faster. We don't need to wait the student. So you answer A ready. Maybe the second student can ready for question B. Okay, anybody else? Okay, Sabrina answer me already. There's a vacuum. Okay, what is the space X? The answer is vacuum. Okay, that's correct. Okay, then the others continue with the question B. Yeah? Okay, the first one is a vacuum. Okay, so that's a correct. Then we go to the pressure at the B. Okay, pressure at the B. Okay, Hari also correct our vacuum. Eh? Okay, what is the pressure at the B? Okay, what is the pressure at the B? They want to ask the value. Okay, I know there's a mercury pressure, but I want to know the value. Okay, this mercury pressure at the B is how many? Okay, anybody? Uh, Sharon, you answer me. Is a B or C? Uh, you must label. Okay, what's the pressure at the B? I know B same as the A, but you need to tell me is how many. Okay, anybody can answer? At the B is how many? You see the number. 75 cm mercury. How come Sabrina, you know? Okay, you cannot go to memorize the atmospheric pressure. Because atmospheric pressure sometimes they got change, is it? Okay, maybe you say the minus, is it? Okay, sorry, Sabrina, maybe you convert to CM. Okay, so from here, you need to show the calculation. Okay, Yiru, give me the 750 mm mercury. Okay, so we go to check. Okay, we show the calculation. Then we will prove Sabrina answer correct or not. And also the Yiru answer correct or not. Okay, I go to print first 75 cm mercury. Yeah? Okay, I show the calculation. Okay, pressure B is same like the height of the mercury level. Okay, the level is how many? We take 900 minus 150 mm. Okay, so after minus, I get it. Yeah, correct. So if you convert, become cm. So this one, it becomes 75. Okay, some student... Because sometimes they say, oh, atmospheric pressure, I know already, is 75. Okay, please uh, don't straightforward put the answer 75 if you never show any calculation. Because sometimes they assume you, or oh, you go to memorize. Okay, we must prove, we go to show. 
okay because sometimes the atmospheric pressure they got changes sometimes 75 sometimes 76 the question never provided we cannot assume okay so we got to prove okay so from here the answer is a 75 uh, cm if you're using cm that's 75 if you're using millimeter that's a 750 mercury okay correct huh? uh, two students answer me ready that's a uh, sabrina and Yiru only Okay, then we go to the following C. Why is the pressure B equal to the atmospheric pressure? Why you say the C, eh? The B, pressure B, okay, 750. Why they seem like the atmospheric pressure? So anybody can answer me? Okay, just now Sharon, they answer half only. They say pressure B same like the pressure A. Why? Okay, you must answer why for the C. Okay, that means the A also must 75 cm mercury. But reason why? Okay, Sarah answer same height as pressure A. Okay, same height. Uh, almost like this lah. Have the same depth. Okay, because same depth. Jessica says same depth. Okay, Yen Ru, they say because A and B are on the same level. Ah, this one is more suitable. Okay, we're talking about level. We're never talking about the height. Okay, so Lin Han, the same depth. Um, we never count about this one as a depth. Lah. Okay, we just count that one. It's the same level. Okay, the level should be the same. So from here, I'm going to show the answer. Okay, pressure at the B is equal to the pressure at the A because A and B at the same level. Okay, the level is the same. Okay, so from here you can say about the atmospheric pressure because A is the atmospheric pressure. So that means B, uh, same level, so B also can equal to the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so we go through to the question number two. Okay, now the figure two. They show about the mercury barometer again. Okay, so from here they never mention anything, so we take this one as a vacuum. So what is the atmospheric pressure in the unit Pascal? Okay, they want in Pascal. So we got the info first. Huh? So the info, we're going to see the height. Okay, the level of the mercury is how many? 760 mm. So normally you want to count in Pascal, we cannot use it mm. So we straightforward convert become meter first, seven, uh, 0 0.76. Okay, after that, the gravitational acceleration they provided. Then this one is the density of the mercury. Okay, so from here, I want to convert to Pascal. Okay, remember the formula you want to convert to Pascal. P equal, okay, H rho G. Okay, now I want to open for the student. Uh, Tarani, H equal PG is what? Okay, suppose it's a P equal H rho G. You want to find the pressure. Lah. Okay, if you want to find the pressure. Okay, so from here, uh, you need to do your calculation to find for me what's the P. Okay, to find for me what is the P. Okay, press your calculator. Okay, remember the unit I want Pascal. Okay, how me to do some calculation. Then I will pin here. To show your answer, is it correct or not? Okay, we check from the student. Got any student to show or not? Okay, still not yet. Lah. So, I'm still waiting your answer. Okay, maybe you do some calculation. Press your calculator. Okay, just 24 is watching now. Okay, continue. Hurry, hurry. Okay, Sharon, they give me a ready. Okay, 101, then 396 Pascal. Okay, the others, is it the same answer? Okay, so from here, the Sharon is the first one. So some give me the standard form. Standard form is okay. Eh? Standard form still okay. Eh? Okay, some is a 1.014 times 10 power of 5 Jessica. Okay, okay, sum is 101. Okay, almost the same lah, the answer. You want to change become kilopascal also same. Okay, Tarani also give me the same answer. Okay.
Okay, I go to show. Is it correct or not? Okay, Hari also there. Okay, give me the answer. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I show the calculation as zero point seven six multiply with the density. Okay, power of four. Uh, then nine point eight one. So finally, I get it. The answer is okay. One zero one three nine six Pascal. Okay. So this one is if I want to change become standard form, I need to put one point zero one four. Okay. Times ten power of five. That one is a standard form. You want to change become kilo also can. They become one zero one point three nine six then kilo pascal. Okay, so now we go through to the second one. That's a B. Okay, continue the same question but go to the B. Okay, state the changes if any in the height of the mercury coulomb H when the following action is carried out. Okay, now we need to talking about the H. Okay, before that is 760 mm, is it? Now I do the three action. Okay, I want to see got any changes for the H or not. So the first one, I make the glass tube is tilted. Anything happen? Okay, the H will be increased or the H will be decreases. Okay, please answer me number one, B1. Okay, I make the glass become sang a little bit. So what you think about the H? Okay, the H will drop uh, from the 760 or they will increasing more than 760. Okay, so what is your opinion? Okay, that's a so clever, Hari. That's a no change. Ah, yeah, that's a no change. Because we got some situation... Be talking about no changes, is it? Okay, Lingha also say no change. Sabrina also say same. Okay, the answer is no changes. Okay, they don't have any changes. Okay, how about the number two? Okay, a glass tube with the non-uniform diameter is used. So that means maybe I using the thicker, the bigger size one, the bigger diameter of the glass tube. So what you think about a H? Okay. Okay, so from here, the answer still the same, is it? There's uh, no changes. Okay, so Sabrina, better we don't answer same. Huh? We answer unchanged. Or you say remain the same, is okay. Okay, don't say same. Okay, so no changes, nothing. Uh, don't mention nothing happened. Nothing happened is too common. The word is too common. So we say no change, unchanged is okay. Okay, remain the same, okay. So from here, the second one also no changes. Okay, the last one. A small amount of the mercury is added into the bowl of the mercury. That means I add the mercury here. Okay, add until the bowl is full with the mercury. You got anything happen for the H or not? Okay, so this one is another question. Okay, what do you think about that? We'll add the mercury more. Okay, so the answer should be, is it the H will be up or the H become drop? Okay, the answer should be the same, is it? I think we mentioned about the uh, sum of the situation, there are no changes for the H. Okay, the height of the mercury coulomb increases. No, Tarani, no. So if you add the mercury in the bowl, there's a nothing about that. See, you and Ru also say increase. Okay, actually there's an unchanged also. Okay, I recall back what should be unchanged. Huh? First one, you use the diameter bigger. It's okay, never mind. No changes. Number two is the tilted. You make it become sliding. Also no changes. Okay, number three, you add the mercury here you make the mercury you put inside the bowl until full also no changes okay number four you make the glass tube you go down some more until bottom also no changes and the last one you leave the glass tube don't leave out uh. leave a little bit still inside the bowl also no changes okay what situation that will change you bring the whole barometer go to the high mountain Okay, you bring it, that means low atmospheric, 
then the H will be dropped. Okay, number two, how to make the H drop? You take one straw, then you blow. Okay, after you blow, the A bubble will up. Okay, until here, up already, that means this one no more vacuum. They already got gas. So the gas will push the mercury come down. So that one we call it as a H decreases. Okay, how to make the H increases? Okay, bring the whole mercury barometer, go to the deep sea. When you go to the deep sea, go in the water, so you'll find it the H will be increasing. Why? Because now you got add one more water pressure. Okay, so remember the situation. Eh? So from here, the last one, there's still no changes. Okay. Then we go to the next question, question number three. Okay, this one is a one of the, uh, the apparatus you use to measure your pressure, your blood pressure. So from here, the figure three, they show about the instrument to measuring the blood pressure used by the nurse to measure your blood pressure of the patient. Okay, what is the blood pressure of the patient in the unit of Pascal? Okay, remember here, we got two of the pressure to show you. One is a systolic, another one is a diastolic, okay? Normally, the systolic is a 120, that one is a normal one. Okay, diastolic is a 80, that one is a standard. So from here, they're using what to calculate? They're using the mercury. So this one, 135 means mm mercury. 78 means 78 mm mercury. So from here, they want you to convert, become Pascal. Okay, both also need to convert. Huh? So from here, I go to show in four first. Systolic 105, 135 mm mercury. Then I convert to the meter first, 0 0.135. Okay, diastory is a 78. So I also convert become meter. Okay, density uh, for the blood mercury. Okay, for the mercury already provided. Gravitational acceleration also provided. So you help me to convert histolic in pascal diastolic also in pascal okay so from here also using the same formula eh? systolic is a h rho g so you have me to continue okay continue to show me what's the answer for the systolic in pascal okay we just wait Any student, they never show the face, but please type here. Okay, I know you don't like to show your camera and also don't want to talk through the mic. So better you type in the chat room that I know you got respond to me. Okay. Okay, we're still waiting. Okay, the line sometimes got problem lah because when you just type the answer, they suddenly come out together. Okay. So from here, we just wait. Okay, let your answer to come out from the chat room first. Okay, so from here, we still not yet see the answer. Okay, Yuan Ru, they show me there's a 17992.8 Pascal. Okay, so we're going to check the others. Easy, you give me the answer. It's the same. How to on the mic in YouTube? Uh, mic cannot on. Okay, Tarani Meman cannot. So that's why I say Google Meet. Nobody want to on mic. Nobody want to on cam. So that's why I using the YouTube. So because you like to typing, is it? So from here, I just using typing. Let you to type in the chat room. Okay. You uh, YouTube is Meman cannot use the the microphone. Okay. Yen only Yen Ru give me the answer. Okay. We go and check ah. Uh. Systolic is a 17992.8 Pascal. Okay, the others. Uh, Sabrina, give me systolic is a 180. Uh, why so big difference? Okay, diastolic is a 1044. 10406. Ah, Yenru, what's the problem for you? Okay, so the Yeru give me also same, same like the Sabrina. Okay, so now we go to check. Is it the answer correct or not? Okay, so this one systolic. I'm using 0 0.135, 1 1.36 times 10 power of 4. Then multiply 9.81. Okay, so from here I go to show. 
Okay, this one is a 18011.2. Okay, 0.16 or so can. Mailing give me the systolic is a 18011.16 Pascal. Okay, then how about the uh, diastolic? Okay, help me to type the diastolic is how many? Okay, so from here, I want to go to diastolic. Yeah? Diastolic also same. Same like the same formula. Just to help me to convert become meter. Okay, convert to the meter. So we're going to check the answer from the student. Diastolic. Okay, diastolic, Lim Zi Xuan, they give me the answer. It's a 104. Okay, just now the Sabrina also gives it. So we go to check. Okay, the answer. Okay, this is a diastolic. Yeah? I'm going to show here. Okay, diastolic. The answer is a... Okay, 10406.48448. Okay, from the mailing, there's a 448. So from here, we also can say there's a 45. Okay, pass card. Okay, correct. Eh? Okay, uh, C cardin, correct. Eh? So the answer, <clears throat> okay, you want to put a uh, standard form also can. You want to put like pass card also can. Okay, then we go to the question number four. Okay, number four, they say the depth of the water in the storage, 2.1 meter. Okay, what is the actual pressure? Uh, so the keyword is the actual pressure. Understood the like actual pressure at the base of the tank in Pascal. So we write the info first. Okay, the info for the dam, the depth is a 2.1 meter. Then the atmospheric of the pressure now is calculated by water. Those are 10.3 meter h2o that means for the water okay base pressure we do know okay base pressure we do know that means we need to calculate total base pressure is how many then the gravity 9.81 then this one is a, a density for the water thousand okay so from here i want to count the actual pressure so i need to show actual pressure that's a water pressure plus atmospheric pressure Okay, so the first round, you help me to calculate how many total pressure acting at the base in the unit meter H2O. Okay, we count in meter H2O first. Okay, I want to know how total, total uh, depth. Okay, total, I cannot say total depth. Lah. Total uh, pressure in the meter H2O acting at the base is how many. Okay, so you calculate for me. Unit in H2O. Okay, unit in meter H2O. Don't change Pascal first. Okay, you show me how many first, then later we change to Pascal. Okay, so from here, what is your uh, calculation? So I want to find the extra pressure in meter H2O. So I think this is no problem only. Then you just do the calculation plus, is it? Okay, so we just wait the student. To answer it, okay, just a simple only because they say meter H2O, we cannot do anything on it. Uh, Sabrina 2.1 is only the depth. Okay, I want actual. Ah, we get answer already. Okay, from the euro, okay, actual. Actual means you need to uh, water pressure plus also atmospheric pressure. Okay, atmospheric already is 10.3, is it? So we show the calculation, we just plus, la, is it? Okay, 10.3 plus 2.1, finally I get 12.4 meter H2O. Okay, correct? So now from here, I need to convert to Pascal. Okay, I think no problem, is it? You convert to Pascal means we're using the row HG again. So the formula you want to convert to Pascal, there should be, okay, this one, row HG. Okay, P equals 12.4, multiply the row of the water, 1,000, then the G is 9.81. So, what is the answer? So, the answer should be, okay, 12, uh, 
Okay, Pascal from the Euro. Jawe, okay, Jawe correct uh, just now. Okay, 12.4 meter H2O. Okay, Yuan Ru. Yuan Ru, give me the answer. 121644. Uh, one, okay, let's see here. Okay, yeah, correct. 121644 one, Pascal. Okay, so this one is how to convert. So better do straightforward convert to Pascal first. We plus together become H2O. Then the last one we convert to the Pascal. Okay. So the four question finish. Then we go should be the formative uh, practice. Okay, then I call you to finish is it. Okay, if you want to change become SIR, SIR uh, not SIR unit, it's a standard form also can. Okay, this one is changed to the standard form. Huh? Okay, now we need to go is uh, your formative uh, 2.2. Okay, hopefully you finish. I also want to give the answer. Then you check your answer. Is it correct or not? Okay, let's see the first one. Explain the existence of atmospheric pressure. Means they want to explain what is the atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure is the, uh, one of the pressure. They're acting by the... Okay. By the A. Okay, now we go to explain. There's an atmospheric pressure is a pressure due to the weight of the A layer. Okay, pressure must talking about pressure acting to surface area, is it? Now the pressure is from the A. Okay, A got weight, is it? I don't care gas la or A la oxygen, helium, they all got weight. So from here, atmospheric pressure is a pressure due to the weight of the A layer, layer of the A la. Acting on the surface of the earth. Okay, remember our earth, one surrounding, surrounding by all the gases, is it? The gases, we don't care uh, what gases, there's are mixtures. So these all gases, they got weight. So the weight just acting to the surface of the earth. So we call it as an atmospheric pressure. Okay, for the number two. Okay, number two, they say the height of the mercury coulomb in the barometer is a 700, uh, 756 millimeter mercury on the cloudy day. Okay, now you need to calculate the atmospheric pressure at the time in Pascal. Okay, so from here, we go through the info. Okay, from the question, you might understand. Then we show the info first. Okay, this one I draw out. Okay. I, from the question, I show the drawing. Okay, the actually no drawing. Lah. You draw by yourself, so can. Okay, so from here, they say mercury quorum in the barometer is 756. So I go to draw. Okay, so this one is a 756. Then after that, they never mention inside got what? So we just assume inside is a vacuum. Okay, now you need to calculate the atmospheric pressure at the time in Pascal. So this one is 756. Actually, the same like the level, same uh, same as the level as the uh, atmospheric pressure. Because when I draw the point here, mean this one is the atmospheric pressure acting, is it? So, same level, same pressure. So, that means this one level also same pressure. But this one is a mercury acting. <coughs> so, excuse me. Okay, so from here, you need to find out atmospheric pressure is how many? Then your unit is in Pascal. Okay? So I just let you to do it. <clears throat> I saw the info first. Okay, let's see the info. Okay, this one is the info. Okay, help me to convert, become meter. The height, chain become meter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then after that, the rest you do the calculation. So I just wait your answer. Okay, you can do the... <clears throat> you can write your answer in Pascal, okay? You can write full. You also can write in standard form. It's okay. You want to write in kilo Pascal, um, but the question never mentioned kilo Pascal, so we just write in Pascal. Lah. Okay, same calculation, eh? rho hg. Okay, you will give me answer already. <clears throat> On. Okay, 100862, Sharon also same. Okay, so from here, we're going to show, eh? Okay, rho H G. We're using rho H G. Okay, after that, apply all the thing in. Okay, power of four. Okay, I think I changed already, but this one system cannot help me to change. Ah, uh. should be ten power of four. Uh. 
Okay, then after that we go through. Okay, then one zero zero eight six two. Okay, point five some more. Okay, so this one should be the answer in Pascal. Okay, the next part. Okay, so from here we ignore kilo Pascal because the question mentioned already. I want Pascal. Okay, so from here we don't using kilo. So you just cancel this answer. If the chain becomes standard form, it's okay. Because standard form still Pascal. Okay, don't use kilo Pascal. Because the question mentioned already Pascal. Don't use kilo. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, what is the actual pressure? Okay, at the depth of 1 to 5 meter in a dam. Okay, remember a dam. Now they say the actual pressure at the depth 1 to 5 meter. State your answer in M, H2O and also Pascal. Okay, so from here, remember, I told you already. Okay, if the dam, the depth is a 1 to 5. So from here, you need to state the answer in H2O first. Later, we convert to Pascal. So from here, let's see the info. Okay, the info, the depth is 1 to 5. Atmospheric pressure in H2O, there's a 10.3. Then this one is a gravitational acceleration then we got density of water so from here we write the answer in meter h2o so from here you show me the answer in meter h2o for the pressure acting to the depth 125 meter first okay we see the answer from the student okay what's your answer if i want to meter h2o only okay I think there's a no problem, is it? Same like the just now question. Okay, any response? Okay, just uh, okay, then get ready. Yan Ru, give me the answer. Okay, 135, Sabrina, also same, eh? 135.3, okay, meter H2O. Okay, then the following, Jessica Ho, also give me the uh, Pascal, straightforward, give me Pascal. Okay, Ling Han, give me the H2O. Okay, we check the H2O first. Huh? So, actual pressure equal water plus atmospheric. So, that should be 135.3 meter H2O. Okay, Jessica, give me the answer for the Pascal. That's a 132, then 7. Two nine three Pascal. So we go to check. Is it correct or not? Okay. So the Pascal we using one hundred and thirty five point three meter multiply density multiply the nine point eight one. So the answer is okay. Exactly correct. Okay. That's a one thousand three hundred twenty seven thousand two hundred ninety three Pascal. Okay. So from here, this one should be the summative, uh, uh, the answer, formative practice answer. Okay, I think just like this, la, our lesson, okay? If you use become the standard form, that's okay, la, power of six. Okay, so today we finish already for the explanation for the exercise. So today the task you need to do is a module. Okay, remember your module, I call you go to school and take it. I don't know how many still don't want to take. Okay, you need to do the module. Okay, there's a page 53 until 61. Okay, that one is including some of the notes, lah, not all exercise. Okay, so from here, you read the notes from there to guide you. Then after that, you continue. Okay, continue to do the uh, question. They got objective, they got structure. Okay, page 53 until 61. Okay, so from here, okay, remember today attendance, uh, you need to key in the uh, Google form. Okay, I think the Google form I sent to you already. Okay, you can check your telegram. Okay, after that, today the lesson code. Okay, so from here, anybody help me to type, uh, hashtag pressure, pressure in capital letter. Okay, you have me to type, hashtag, okay, don't copy paste, huh? you retype again. Huh? Okay, so you have me to type the, wait, huh? I'm going to find the hashtag. 
excuse me, hashtag, then pressure, capital letter. Okay, that's all. Okay, pressure, P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E. -S -S <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so from here, I go to pin. Uh. Okay, today code should be like this. Pressure, <clears throat> you put the hashtag first, then you put pressure. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Okay, you help me to retype in the Google form. Don't copy paste. Okay, don't copy paste. Uh. So many the day they copy paste. After that, they cannot get the marks. Okay, so from here, we just until there. So you complete your, <clears throat> your module question and also fill in your today attendance. Okay, so understand that. Uh? So from here, our lesson just finished lah. So thank you for your watching. Thank you for your calculation to show me the answer. Okay, so from here, we just finished. So thank you. Thank you, the student, to attend my class. Okay, so from here, just thank you. Okay, thank you, Charan. Thank you, Yiru. Okay, thank you, the others, ah. Huh? So you can go through. Okay, thank you, Meiling. Thank you, Ling Han. Okay, so our lesson just finished lah. So see you for the next Monday. Okay, bye, Sharon. City, thank you. Okay, so we just complete. Okay, see you. Bye.